Hi there, thanks for joining our training session. Here's a chart that relates to device profile data. By holding down my mouse wheel, I'm going to drag around an area on the chart and then zoom to that area. It consists of IP addresses, websites, as well as device profiles. I will zoom in further. On our devices, we structured our data with attributes. In particular, we have operating system, browser, keyboard language, screen size, and so on. Some of the connection links have numbers underneath them. These are count attributes. Although this is an association style of chart, there's a link for each occurrence between the same two entities, holding date and time. This is known as multiple multiplicity. The chart has a dual purpose. It has the capability to analyse temporal data using tools as well as relationships. To filter on different dimensions of the chart data, we can use bar charts and histograms. This is an analytical tool found under Analyze. This tool allows us to filter out onto different dimensions of the chart data and analyse temporal data in bar graph and heat matrix format. A task is to find out how many devices are using each browser. There's browser and here's our bar charts. Because a device is selected over here, we can see the orange brushing effect on the bar here. We're interested in, let's say, Opera, of which there are six devices. The second part of the task is to find out how devices using the browser are connected, effectively whether they sit on a shared network. Find Connecting Network will answer this question for us. We'll add the selected entities and find a network. The network entities are listed below. To handle the result better and present it more effectively, I'm going to copy the results out to a new chart. In the Quick Access toolbar up here in Navy, there is the option to copy to new association chart. We no longer need Find Connecting Network. We can see that chart items remain greyed out, which is because of our bar chart that was selected previously. Bottom left, let's show you all. Heading back over into our bar charts and histogram pane, I'm going to close down the bar chart that we no longer need. Let's say instead we want to find out peak hour of day under date and time. There are different perspectives for viewing our date and time data, one being hour of day. The presentation chart can be enriched by copying the bar chart as a picture and then under home, I can paste it into the chart. Similarly, I'll close this one down and populate one for the attribute that's storing the values for keyboard language. Formatting can also be applied to these pictures. Under style, I can adjust the line colour to say grey and the line width to three. Presently, the label is displayed underneath each. I'd like to switch that off. And now we'll close the bar chart and histogram pane. As mentioned earlier on, our connection links hold count attributes. Using my mouse with the left button held down, I'm going to drag around 
the links of interest. Under Analyze, we have the Merge and Combine feature. Within here, we can merge multiple links. The links have now been summarised and we have the total number of occurrences added up on the count attribute. For the next stage, I'd like to show you how we can alter how the attributes are displayed on the chart surface. I'd like to improve how the count attribute looks and for all the other attributes that are currently displayed, I would like to keep them on the chart, but I'd like to unshow them on the chart surface. By right mouse clicking, we can go to Chart Properties. Under Definitions and Attribute Classes, we'll locate the Count attribute. I'm going to select here and press C on my keyboard to jump to the relevant area of the list. Here it is. We'll go to the properties. There are various ways we can control the behavior for this particular attribute class. The symbol, the font, let's adjust it to size 10 and bold. The remainder of the attributes on this chart will be found under the cybercrime palette. So that I don't have to go looking through the list and individually picking those I'm interested in, I'll do a control A, head over to the combined properties for them, and I have the option to switch off show on chart. And there we go. To reorganise the way my chart data is positioned under a range, the minimise cross links layout will do a lot of the work for us. Let's improve it further under layout setup. Minimise cross links will adjust the measurement, the separation between items to three. We can rotate the orientation of the chart so it flows down the page. To affect the changes, we run the layout once more. We hope you're enjoying Shortest Path Training's tip sessions. Thank you for your engagement.